Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. Today, we got a little bit of work to do on this mower. Maybe we can try to sell it, get a couple bucks out of it. Needs a couple things done, and I'm going to show you what needs to be done on it. Okay guys, see this uh, this engine brake is supposed to have a handle up here, you know, that you squeeze and they've got it tied off there. So this thing is supposed to shut off also when you flip this all the way over and I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, spark plug wire is loose. Of course it needs a blade, I'm not going to put one on it. I'm going to sell it, telling them it, it's going to need a blade. So, but the first thing, uh, the air cleaner need the uh, yeah the air cleaner, the sponge filter needs cleaned out. So we're going to clean that out. Um, check the oil. The oil doesn't actually look too bad. So, but it's full. But the first thing, let's make sure it's going to start up. Also, it doesn't feel like the rope's coming all the way out, so we're going to have to check that. So, but first, let's make sure this thing's going to start up. And uh, shit. And then we'll go from there. It should start up. Haven't had it running since the last time we had it running. <laughs> Now this, they say pump it three times, but I pump it until I can feel the fuel going into it. And there I feel it. Because if it sets a while, you may have to pump these more than three times. There we go. Now that should do it. Now let's see if it'll start. Okay, so it does shut off with that thing like it's supposed to. But let's find out, really not a lot that has to be done other than, let's find out why this rope does not, does not want to come any further back than that. That might be about right though, I don't know. It seems to me, like this silver piece, can you guess? Here, let me get you off the stand. I think the rope's shorter. I think it's been chewed through. It looks like this thing's been chewed on by a dog. But I, I do believe this is supposed to be down here, so it, it gives you that much more. See that little deal there? I think it's supposed to go there. That's a stop to keep this from going all the way in. So. I don't know if I'm going to add on to that or just change the whole rope. I don't think I've got a rope that long, a pull rope that long. Okay, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is supposed to be way down there. Um, one way to find out, let me get you back on the stand. I'm going to pull that rope out of there out of up here yeah see that's what it's supposed to be so I could probably add on to that rope and uh, give it what it's supposed to get um, the spark plug wire is very loose see it doesn't doesn't want to stay on, so I may have to put a new end on that, which I do have one. See, it just, uh, when I did the video, if you guys heard it cutting out, that's because this was laying like that and just flobbing around. So, there's that. Now, I'll show you what's inside here. Yeah, I know, carburetor, but I'll show you the filter. Let me get you down here. Oh, 
I'll zoom you in a little bit here. And, uh, whoops. There we go, that's better. I'll show you what's in here. I'll be in your way just for a second. We're just going to take this, this out. See, that's uh, pretty nasty. Hopefully, it doesn't fall apart. It shouldn't. There, it's an original Briggs and Stratton. It says it right on it. Yeah, that feels okay. I think I can get that cleaned out. So I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna clean this all off. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I think, you know, to me, my time's worth something, even if I don't put any any money into this thing, because I feel like yeah, I could be doing other projects. I have plenty of them, but this is a money maker, so I got to watch what how much time I put into it. You know what I mean? So, if I would charge, say, thirty bucks an hour, and I got thirty bucks in this selling it for twenty-five, you know, that's an hour I could have had on something else. You know that's that's more high paying so I want to keep my labor down because it's not going to cost me any money for this because I'm not I'm not going to put you know a 10 or 15 dollar blade on it or whatever they cost the blade is bad but I will sell it I will tell them look you know it needs a blade that's all you know really that's all it needs because that's all it's going to need when we get done with it it's a good run of mower and um, so first thing I'm going to clean this out. I'll clean this out later. So the first thing I, I need to do is uh, I'm going to have to fix this roof. Okay. So I'm going to have to try to extend it because I know damn well I do not have a rope. I do have one, but it's on a good uh, Honda motor, I do believe. But the Honda motor, there's a there's an issue with the governor. It's a six horsepower, I do believe. There's an issue with the governor. The governor's locked up. It will run. It'll start up, but it starts up wide open. And the governor arm feels like it's locked up, so I'll probably have to split the case on that, but it's a newer motor, so I, I would like to keep that intact. Um, I don't know. Let me study this for a minute. And then we're going to, that's a four and a half horse. It is a weed eater brand. Now that is a Briggs and Stratton engine, but it is a weed eater brand uh, mower. It's an older mower, but for somebody with a small yard for 25 bucks, I'll probably put 30 on it. I'll sell it for 25. I got 10 in it. So, you know, I'm more than doubling my money and that's what you need to do on these. You have to at least double your money. If you got $5 in it, you need to get 10. You know, that's if you can do this stuff for free. Like I said, I won't have to put any money in it. If you buy something for 20 you want to get at least 40 out of it, you know. Uh, depending. Uh, if you have really nothing at all in it and hardly any time, uh, if you gave 24 you can come down to 30 35 whatever you're happy with. But I like to at least double my money when it's this low of a price or it doesn't pay me to really do anything on it. But yeah, I think I gave... Yeah, I gave 10 bucks for it. I think he wanted 20 or 25. Anyway, I got him down to 10, I do believe. But anyway, I'm going to put 30 on it. I'll drop to 25. Because people like to haggle, you know. Uh, a lot of times they'll just, you know, give me what I wanted for it. You know, like that wood chipper. I told him I can Well, first he asked. He says, uh, you know, can you come down on it? Can you work with him? Wiggle. You got any wiggle room? I said, yeah, I got some wiggle room. And, uh... He asked me, and I said, yeah, and, and his wife said, no, give him what he wants for it. You know damn well that thing's worth more than that. He said, true. He said, true, you're very fair. I wish I could give you more. I said, look, I'm not trying to get rich off of people. You need it. I need the money, you know. And uh, I did see him not long after that, and uh, he was actually driving past the house, and he stopped and backed up. He said, hey, I just want to let you know that chipper's doing fine. I said, great, cool, you know, you need work done on it, let me know. So, um, 
I, I haven't had anything come back so let me see what I'm going to do about because see if I tie a knot onto this onto that remember it's got to come up through here now what I could do is what I might do is just take this off shorten this rope right here right up to here as if it normally would be and they can just you know start it you know from down here just like they used to okay so what I was going to show you is right down here I don't know if you can see that little tab right there that little tab right there what this does is of course this is all grounded okay this is grounded so when this arm right here comes over and touches that tab see it let me zoom in a little bit when it touches that tab right there it grounds it out it kills the spark from the coil to the spark plug so that's how that shuts off and of course this is wide open this is your your governor there's a what they call governor vein up in there but I need to clean that out it looks like it's kind of sticky a little bit uh, so I, I may go ahead and spray that off with some brake cleaner but like I said it's not it's not the greatest mower but you know I don't have fifty dollars on it I'm gonna have thirty on it okay so let me I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down and tie it off I don't think I've got another one of these handles I'll have to check but I don't think I do I'll just have to wrap it with some tape like I said they're not getting a brand new mower and they shouldn't expect a brand new mower for 30 bucks but uh, one good thing it does have the adjustable wheels on it that you can adjust you know right here by raising them and lowering them which they're going to need freed up I see that uh, I'll just shoot them down with some penetrating oil the wheels are okay you know they're not too bad they're not worn out real bad so um, you know they don't have the bearings in them so they're going to wobble a little bit so let's start with that rope and I'll get you down here where you can see better okay so if we look down in here there should be a place for this to come out just like that okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to tie another knot in this thing okay and then we're going to cut this off where we need it try to get it as close as we can in there down in there and tighten up just like that in fact we could probably just shove this in there well I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off but pull it make sure it's tight all right all right so now I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna wrap it with black tape Not the best looking thing in the world, but for $25, you can't complain, right? Let's try it out.
right guys uh, I just need to blow it off again real quick it's going out here on the auction block 30 bucks I will take 25 I don't see anything wrong with it first crank starts up so all right guys just a little tinkering today uh, I got some more stuff coming so stay tuned I got a couple of review videos to do thanks to our good friends Will and Kim so stay tuned for them uh, I got a lot of stuff planned um, we're going to be having we're going to have the Corvette out here before long we're going to see what we can do with it uh, I got I do know of three or four bolts I can't remember how many there was either three or four intake bolts I got to go get because they're gone I don't know where they're at I hope they didn't drop them down inside somewhere I don't know uh, I don't think it went in the cylinder because you know we had it fired up so all right, guys. There you go. Thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. <laughs> Gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Almost forgot. You guys didn't remind me. Future project. Quick update. Mower sold. Had it out front here for 15 minutes. Old guy stopped, started up. I had 30 on it. In fact, there's my sign right there. He goes, is that your bottom dollar? I said, nah, I take 25 for it. He said, that sounds good to me. <laughs> so he just needed a, just a trimming mower for some weeds because he asked how the blade was. I said, it's going to need a blade. The blade's in bad shape. He looked at it and he goes, oh, that'll be fine for what I'm doing because it's mostly weeds anyway. So, <laughs> awesome. He had a mask on. That was cool. Awesome. So, yeah, just a quick update. It's gone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.